This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbil Mac, a better wood planner, Camp Power, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now at Ion Didal getting ready for a range test with trailer and the ID7 GTX Tourer. So, uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring the caravan, but this should be more or less the same anyway. The caravan is actually not as tall, and it's the tallness of it, there you should call it, that makes the consumption go up, or the boxiness. The weight doesn't really matter that much, or the length doesn't matter that much. So, this trailer should still be quite, uh, well, I don't know, make everything, uh, make the consumption go up. That's my point. So, um, yeah. It's where you can see the, the registration number, if, especially if in Norwegian, yeah, SW9660. So it's uh, actually 2.7 meters tall. First, we look at this. The trailer hitch is easily uh, uh, or, or hidden or uh, taken out. And then the plug here is easy as, as accessible. I like it. Also here, for securing uh, the the, well, the secu security wire, so at least that's good. Oh yeah, here I was looking at this. Okay, I'm not sure if uh, you can see anything there. Hmm. But okay, so at least that part is good. But then we have some not so good parts. I'll come back to soon. But I highlight something here. Look at this. Oh, okay, oops. Um, okay, I pressed the breaker, but. Uh, even at 97%, we are charging at 38 kilowatt. Wow, that is nice. We're gonna finish in three minutes. Wow, impressive. What is not so impressive is that the car estimates we will have 511 kilometers of range. Car has no clue we are pulling a trailer, even though I did drive from Yesheim to here with a trailer. So gave it a, a, a 10, 50, around 10 minutes of drive and uh, gave it a little bit of a heads up what's going on you know with the trail in the back car did not adjust for that and also if you go here uh, well okay this car thing here hmm uh do we have anything about trailer mode no nine niche habe ich okay uh driving pro uh so, it seems like there is nothing trailer friendly here going on. Um, and that, so, I was looking for some kind of light test. Nope, they don't have it. We can do this. Okay, blink left. Let's go check out. Um, but the problem is that as soon as you exit the car, then the car goes off and the blinker went off. Uh, this is so clumsy. Uh, Germans, they are really good at engineering, building, precision, you know. But when it comes to software, it's not good. So one trick is actually to do this. Uh, you buckle up behind yourself. Uh, kind of clumsy now to do it in one hand. Buckle up behind yourself and then you press the brake. And then the turn signal is on. And now it actually stays on. You can verify it here. And it stays on. And then we can check if the trailer blinks. Why is the trailer not there? Oh, oh, you know, there could be a possibility that uh, when we are plugged in, then there is no light going to the trailer uh, connector. But the Ford F-150, when, when we were still charging, it could do the light test and it will show everything. So, heh, minus again with the Volkswagen. Well, we're done charging. 100% on display, 96% BMS. And in here we have 84.9, uh, almost 85 kilowatt hour available energy. Yesterday when I did the range set without trailer, I managed to get 84.6 kilowatt hours. So there was a 0.4 kilowatt hour loss. Now when we pull trailer, we will have more losses. Well, let's find out. So I reset this trip that has the, the decimal. And then, uh, well, please, please switch the ignition on first. Okay, uh, there is no ignition in an EV. There's a power button, but this is clumsy the way it's been. Okay, no, it wasn't there. Okay, uh, now suddenly the blinker comes on. Yeah. 
so um yeah we will just uh, use since start yeah reset since start okay wow well, we're on the move and great news we are cruising at 93 kilometers per hour which is uh, 90 gps speed yeah we go barely legal uh, but the mother truckers like the one behind us they're also cruising at almost the same they cruise at 88 kilometers per hour but i want to cruise at 90 because i will also do a, an empty test uh, without trailer afterwards but the great news is that we have auto steer with trailer wow it's like the only car manufacturer right or maybe mvb cars that has auto steer all the other cars i tried as soon as you put on the trailer you have no auto steer but there is no problem right but then i wonder do we have sway protection still hmm yeah okay but um here I navigated to uh, Rudshögda, gonna turn around over there. Well, actually, I might turn around at, uh, yeah, go further, yeah, at Moor. But, okay, if we do this and we do this, the car estimates we will arrive at 76%. I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> not today, son, not today. So the car does not estimate correctly there. Maybe it needs some time to learn. We're gonna see how long that takes. But, uh, yeah, it already shows 481, so it's starting to adapt to the higher consumption, but it takes a while. And yeah, what is the consumption so far? 395 watt hour per kilometer, but there is a peak initially, and then it will drop. But then compared to the Ford F-150 with the caravan, it was hovering at 500 watt hour per kilometer. Oh, shit! Uh, under driver assist settings, we have trailer detection. If you click here, it says that it's active. Yeah, and also you see the trailer there and that maximum trailer speed is 80 or 60 kilometers per hour so they haven't adapted to the tempo 100 hmm what is that can i read this oh you can okay uh, i was going to check the weight of the car and trailer but uh this is uh, ca it's kaput uh, it needs calibration okay i have to try another location what the heck is this huh? A fusion core and today we have 9.5 degrees Celsius nice and warm it's almost noon though and then how is Mjus and oh almost no wind that is great well it seems like that windsock shows that we have slight headwind we'll try to zoom in and show you there you see so there might be some wind from the north all right but it is so nice to have auto steer while you're pulling a trailer because we're now just on the uh, autobahn not doing much so uh, i don't need to steer uh, german autos they are is the best but i hear some uh, wind noise from behind i think the trailer because it's boxy it creates some wind noise the caravan i tested didn't have this wind noise or it was uh, well insulated in that uh, f-150 now i think actually caravans they you know you, you know the shape caravans they are more aerodynamic and no wind noise there so a little bit annoying because the rest of the car is dead quiet and then i have to hear the hear that wind noise okay let's try coasting see how it goes with the trailer uh i have to wait until the battery power is uh, below zero I put the car in drive, I took off the cruise control, it's regening some, so I probably want to go into neutral in there. Okay, now we're in neutral. Wait, I thought I would gain on the mother truck in front, but it seems like he's also coasting. A, B, C, always be coasting. Uh, okay, we're not picking up that much speed. <coughs> Come on, come on, come on. Barely legal speeds now. <coughs> the truck in front is pulling away. <laughs> Shit. Okay, we have a slight headwind. 11 degrees Celsius outside. And now it starts flattening out. Okay. So it seems like when you coast with trailer, you can't hit any crazy speeds unless you go down the troll steg and maybe. Oh, 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 that's it. There, okay. Well interesting test <laughs> man i'm trying to overtake this truck <laughs> i'm going at 90 gps speed 
barely gaining. Oh, nice elephant rennen. Okay, now we have some uphill, then usually he goes slower. Oh, I actually could be she. You know, I've seen many women drive big trucks with a... Damn, that's hot. Okay, I think this is a big fat guy. We are getting close to Moal. Uh, so far we've driven 94 kilometers. I'm gonna turn around soon, but uh, consumption is 356 watt hour per kilometer. And then now we see that we have 60% left and 220 kilometers of range. So it seems like it has adjusted. Uh, well, actually, no, it hasn't yet, <laughs> but it's slowly adjusting. But uh, this seems to be better though. If we look here, at Dahl, it now estimates 28%. Uh, so this estimation seems to change faster than the GOM here. Wow, it's 13.5 degrees over here. It's like Nornorsk summer. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're now down to 41% left, 144 kilometers. Oh, yeah, okay, now it's getting slightly more realistic. And then we've done 143 kilometers. And consumption seems to be dropping because we have tailwind now. So I wonder if 250 kilometers of range is possible. That is quite good. And of course, why? I mean, how is it possible? Well, because well, I'm gonna show, I was going to show you a picture of the car. But wait, it's white. What? It's not a white car, it's a red car. Gee. But it is possible because the car itself is quite efficient. So it doesn't pull that much. And then it just pulls extra for the trailer. Okay, let's, let's check the weight. Oh, front axle. Uh, 1180. The whole car. 2460, I think that's what it's supposed to be. But there's slight weight also on the ball joint, but let's see now. And then the trailer itself. Let me put it on the middle, roughly there. Oh, it weighs 600 kilograms. Okay, so the 310, what the heck was that? Okay, well, 600 makes more sense, but 300 and a half. That's almost too light for such a big trailer. Okay, so I'm down to 14%. Uh, GOM is still way off. 43 kilometers of range. No, 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 no. If we look here, car scanner reports 12 kilowatt hour left. And then based on around 350 watt hour per kilometer, then that's good for around 30 kilometers, not 43. We're almost done with the test now. We're gonna turn around here one last time, possibly. Uh, now we're down to 7%, 22 kilometers range left, about well, 16.5 degrees outside. So we've done 227 kilometers. Mm, okay, we can still go a little bit more. This is it, exit to Dahl. Uh, I think I'll just bail out here, 3% left. Uh, probably good for around seven, eight more kilometers, but I don't feel like going too deep. We also have a power limit here around 40% power left. Okay, okay. All right, all good. All right, the end result, we drove 235.9 kilometers before correction. I think it's roughly 230 kilometers corrected. Doesn't have to be too strict about that. Uh, consumption, 342 watt hour per kilometer. Yes, because the car is efficient. We have 10 kilometers of range level, 3%. And then in car scanner, it's reported as 3.1 kilowatt hour. So based on all this, I estimate that we have now 83.8 .8 kilowatt hour out of the battery. When I drove with a trailer yesterday, it was 84.6. So we have 0.8 kilowatt hour more loss now. All right, now we know, it makes sense. Let's plug it in then. Well, we charged the car actually 100%. I needed to uh, do another charging test to verify something about the charging curve, but um, yeah. Now that we have charged it full, then the battery is hot-ish. We have 36 to 40 degrees Celsius. So there is something maybe, spent, I mean, some power might be spent for cooling down the battery, which is a bit unfair for this test. But on the other hand, it is warmer now, 16 degrees Celsius. Hmm. Okay, well, let's uh, go for it. There is no way to pre-cool the battery. If you go here to the optimizer now, if we just say rapid charging capability reached, it's, um, 
Okay, whatever. Let's go then. I will just drive a shorter loop. We will not drive it all the way to zero. <laughs> but also here, uh, well, as expected, now at 100% or 99%, we have 342 kilometers of range. So it hasn't adjusted based on the lower load now. But uh, okay, um, so far, well, it's kind of high-ish peak now, but that's because we just started driving. Yeah, but we'll avoid this slower stretch here. Just drive a loop here and then back again. But it's uh, afternoon now, so there's some traffic. Well, we're done with the test. It was 159 watt hour per kilometer when we stopped, but then it counts when we are stationary. Okay, now I'm gonna try to turn the trailer and we're gonna try to press park assist here. Nope, there is no trailer assist. Oh, no, 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 I was reading something. Shit. So yeah, it seems like uh, this car has not been optimized for pulling trailer. But anyway, based on the test now, we see that uh, we have roughly 184 watt hour per kilometer increase of consumption with the trailer on. And then range is around 240 kilometer. That's actually pretty good. So yeah, I would expect the same, uh, roughly the same if you also pull a caravan. Or maybe the caravan pulls a little bit more extra uh, well, energy, but then roughly 200 kilometers of range. That is good. Yeah, 91 kilowatt hour battery only. So, but uh, there was one last thing I forgot to show you when I was testing. Uh, this car, like most cars, you cannot show the backup camera when you are at high speed. Backup camera, I think, is only for around 10 and 15 kilometers per hour, then it goes off. So that is a small minus again. But the fact that we have auto steer while pulling trailer is really nice. So that's going to be for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.